Problems with shared space in Kirk and Tillock. Morning, Gillian. Morning. I saw you on BBC Scotland about the problems that Kirk and Tillock were going to face if they took the traffic lights out. Uh-huh. Now they've gone. What's happened? Oh, it's like a ghost town. <laughs> because we're all scared to go down because there aren't any traffic lights to cr- safely cross the road. Control crossings been removed in the main high street resulting in people being excluded. I can't get to my book groups, my visually impaired book groups, and I can't meet my friends there unless I take a taxi. The curves have all but disappeared. With 60% of the high street with 20 millimetre curves now, which are not high enough for blind people to navigate independently and safely. Take away the curb and take away their freedom. The paving materials used are hazardous. They have created trip hazards and problems for wheelchair users all along the high street. Well, the little stones aren't they? What are the yeah. problem with these? Make your wheels jerk because they're not smooth enough. They're quite rough and people trip over them. I've seen people, um, you know, tripping and nearly falling on them. The buses are having problems. No laybys leading to congestion. The junction is just too narrow, causing chaos at the junction. The bollards are continually being hit leading to temporary barriers being put up parking on pavements is happening up and down the high street as there are no loading bays bricks have been put in the carriageway all along the high street creating serious problems for the taxi drivers local shops have been shutting down. Right, Jimmy, what was this shop? This was um, a clothes shop and beautiful clothes and they used to sell jewellery and shoes and handbags. And it used to be really handy for buying really nice gifts to send to my nieces and my sister-in-law in America. Lovely birthday presents and things. And she had to retire early because she was getting no trade at all when the work was being done on the shared space. It was very sad with people calling it a ghost town. To let is a common sight. Up and down the high street. So let's go back to the size of the curbs. With the news in from Northern Ireland. A woman who is blind has won a landmark ruling against the height of new roadside curbs in Lisburn. Joanna Toner began legal proceedings fearing that blind and partially sighted people were in danger of being hit by traffic because the curbs were lowered. A judge at the High Court ruled that Lisburn and Castlereagh City Council had failed to ensure equality for disabled people in the multi-million pound regeneration scheme. I'm absolutely delighted because the, the implications for other disabled people and other shared schemes across the whole country is going to be immense and that's something that we've definitely been fighting for for a long time. Um, it, it's just dangerous to remove the curbs and to let blind and partially sighted people mix with traffic. Did anybody tell the council of their concerns? Yeah, we did. We petitioned. We got 3,500 signatures. We petitioned in rain, sun and snow, but nobody really listened. They just went ahead and did it all and not listened to what everybody in the town wanted. And what would you say to the council now? Please put the traffic lights back. <laughs> we want them. Schemes are U-turning across the UK with controlled crossings going into the high street. In Grimsby. In Corby. In Blackpool. In Warwick. In Tolworth Greenway. In Hackbridge. In Coventry. In Kinross. In Julian Road in Bath. 
in Dunstable. Curbs have been replaced in Tolworth Greenway. Public spaces can be prohibitively excluded, finds the Women and Equalities Committee. We also recently, I asked you to put in your submissions to the Women's and Equality Committee, who amongst many other subjects were talking about shared space and you'll be delighted to know that they have found very much in our favour. They said all schemes must be accessible to everyone and that means controlled crossings and payment curbs, something we have been talking about for a long, long time. Now, this report is so strong that it cannot be ignored. We will not be ignored. And we will not be ignored. And I will not be ignored. It is clear that shared space has not worked, as it excludes hundreds of people, not only just the blind and visually impaired, but hundreds of other disabled people. It is not fit for purpose, and we need to return to controlled crossings to bring back the people to the town where they know they can safely access the town centre.